Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can see by the title of this video, I am taking you guys with me as I relax at the end of a long day and pamper my skin. This has been such a highly requested video, so I hope you guys enjoy it. And hey, if you're not already, stop playing yourself, hit that subscribe button and join the family and give this video a big thumbs up. So, I love music, so the first thing that I do when I go into the bathroom is find something to listen to. So today I decided to go with an old school fave and put on some Fred Hammond. Now the first step in my nighttime routine is to take off whatever is on my lips. So I use water wipes, I stand by these wipes, they're literally the only wipes I use. So as you can see I'm literally just removing whatever's on my lips before I move on. So I love to use the Super Facialist Vitamin C Brightening Cleansing Oil to remove my makeup. I literally just warm this up in my hands and then just wipe it all over my face. And this does such a good job of breaking down all of my makeup. So I'll just rub it into my eyes. It literally will remove mascara. It will remove the hardest and strongest of foundations. And as an alternative, you can also use coconut oil. So this is just Vite Coco and I use that as well. It's a cheaper alternative. You can get it from like Tesco's or Boots or anything like that. The next step is to take a microfiber cloth and to run it under some hot water. And then I literally just lay this on my face and wipe off the oil that has melted down my makeup and this feels so amazing after a long day it feels so warm and hot on the skin so today I was filming so I had quite a bit of heavy makeup than I would usually so I decided to go in twice and just kind of double cleanse again just to make sure that everything was off of my skin and my skin was nice and clean and this stuff smells amazing so I feel like it does a good job of keeping me nice and relaxed and as you can see, I'm just going in again with a microfiber towel that's nice and hot. So next I'm going in with my cleanser. This is the Tea Tree Facial Wash from The Body Shop. My girl Esther, known as the Queen Hadassah on YouTube, put me onto this. And when I tell you, this is my go-to. I literally will not use anything else. It smells like tea tree, clearly, because it's a tea tree wash. But honestly, I have dry to combination acne prone skin. So I feel like this does such a good job of making sure that my skin is at bay and looking clean. Now, I go by the 60 second rule, which is essentially just a skincare rule to make sure that you wash your face for 60 seconds. So I try and keep to this when I'm washing so that I can make sure my skin is nice and clean. So I'll rinse off my face. And then a tip is to, again, use my goodie microfiber towel and just pat dry your skin as opposed to using a rough towel. So next I take a cotton pad. I like to use these ones that are nice and like big and oval and take some good old micellar cleansing water from Garnier and just make sure that I've removed any kind of leftover mascara that might be on my eyes. My eyes are quite sensitive, so this is just kind of like an extra step that I like to do just to make sure that there is no residue or anything else that's left on my eyes. So I like to also go in with another cotton pad and just kind of go over my face. I feel like this does a good job of just kind of balancing out my skin, just because the tea tree wash can be a little bit strong and kind of strip the oils from your skin. So next I'm going in with a lip scrub. Now this is just something I made myself. It's literally just sugar, honey, and some lemon. And I've just used an old L'Oreal pot to just keep it in. So I'm just going in nicely with this over my lips and just rubbing it in. It tastes pretty good too. And then I'm just going in with a hot towel and just wiping that off. And when I say your lips will be feeling so smooth. So tonight I decided to treat my skin. So I am going to use my good old steamer. This is from Amazon. The link will be in the description box below. I think it was like 20 pounds or something like that, but I absolutely love this. I don't use it every single day, but I try to use it at least two times a week, but it does such a good job of just opening up my pores. And I like to do this before I either use a face mask or exfoliate my skin. I feel like it preps the skin really well. So. I do this for, I'd say maybe two minutes or so. 
and then I will stop halfway through and take a um, cotton pad but these ones are reusable and again I got these from Amazon so the link will be below and I'll just kind of wipe down my skin and then go in again for I'd say maybe another one to two minutes with the steamer. Now I didn't use it this evening, but typically I would go in with the Paula's Choice BHA Liquid Exfoliant. This is the only exfoliant that I use. I absolutely love it. It's not too harsh on the skin, so check that out. So for today's mask, I've decided to go in with the salicylic acid clay mask from Superfacialist. I got this in PR recently and I fell in love with it. I like to use this little applicator brush to apply it. I think I got it from Superdrug for like two pounds, something really cheap, but it just makes you feel like you're giving yourself a little at home spa and it just feels a lot more nicer than getting it all over your fingers. But I like to use a very generous amount as you can see. So I apply quite a thick layer all over my skin and I have quite a few masks but this has definitely become one of my favorites so let me know actually in the comments section if you would like to see a skincare haul of all of my favorite skincare items So the next thing that I do is I take some castor oil and I literally just rub this into my edges. I've been doing this for about a year now and I feel like it makes such a big difference. My edges are so much more fuller, so much more healthier. I use a lot of edge control, which I like because I like my edges to be laid. So I feel like this does a good job of keeping my hair nice and healthy and I literally do this religiously every night. So while I'm waiting for my mask to dry, I'll either go through my phone and check my to-do list for the next day, or I'll just go and lie down. Boo. <laughs> so usually when I want to just check that it's dry, I'll just try and move my mouth around a bit. And if I can feel the mask cracking, then I know it's dry. So again, I go in with my good old favorite microfiber towel cloth. I'll keep this nice and really hot and just lay this on top of my face and just press it in. And this just kind of helps to just soften the mask because it's dried up at this point. So I know it might look like I'm being quite hard, but I'm actually not. I'm not pulling on the skin too much. And I'll just kind of repeat this process until everything is clean and off my skin. Next, I am going in with the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. I love this brand and how cheap and cheerful it is. I think this bottle literally costs like four pounds, um, but it's got a really nice sort of pump applicator, I think you would call it. And I literally use three drops of this and just massage it into my skin. And I feel like this makes my skin so hydrated and so plump. Now, listen, I'm not gonna front and say I do this every night, but hey, we're being bougie for YouTube and I definitely have got more time in the evening. So I'm taking this jade roller and literally just rolling it on my skin. I love how cold this feels and I feel like it just helps the serum to get really nice and deep into the skin. It's got two sides, one's the bigger side, which I'm using now, and then the smaller side is what I use just to go underneath my eyes. Now, I do feel like after I use this, it does make my face go a little bit pinkish reddish but the next morning my skin honestly looks so amazing now this next product is a holy grail for me it is the eucerin anti-pigment dual serum i heard about this from melissa wardrobe on instagram 
So I use about one to two pumps of this and it literally has done such an amazing job of getting rid of any hyperpigmentation that I had on my skin and just evening out my skin tone. I feel like I had a little bit of hyperpigmentation on my cheeks just from some products that my skin didn't really react well to and using this consistently every single night will honestly make such a big difference to your skin so I swear by this. So I'm just gonna kind of let my skin dry for a bit before I go in with any other products. So I'm just gonna take this Burt Bees Lip Balm and just apply this onto my lips. Let me know actually what are your favorite lip products because I'm definitely on the hunt for some more. So this next step is my moisturizer. It is the Paula's Choice Intensive Repair Cream for dry to very dry skin. This has changed my life. I got it in PR recently and I don't know how I was living life without it. Like I said, I've got dry skin. This stuff is like magic gold. The next morning, your skin is glowy. It is moisturized. I use it, my husband uses it. It is incredible. So next I'm gonna go in with the Bobbi Brown Eye Cream and this is the hydrating eye cream. Now, I was never really an eye cream person, but I wanted to try it out and I've really been loving this. It definitely isn't something for dark circles. I don't really feel like that's something I struggled with, but I definitely, definitely feel like this has hydrated the skin under my eyes. I noticed a big difference when I started using it consistently and then applied makeup. I feel like my concealer sits a lot better on my skin and it doesn't tend to crease under my eyes when I use this consistently. So. If you're on the hunt for something that will hydrate the skin under your eyes, then this is definitely something for you. And then the final product is this vitamin C brightening booster from Super Facialist. I love this stuff. I like to use it at nighttime because it is advisable that you use an SPF if you wear this after going out. So I'd rather just use it in the evening and let it soak into my skin. So I literally just warm this into my hands and press it into my skin like so. So that is it for my nighttime skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comment section if you want to see any more skincare related videos. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. Let's get this to 2K likes. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you do not miss any of my upcoming videos. Until then, bye.